Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Today's podcast is going to be focusing on 21 hydroxylase deficiency. Um, this is the most common form where you have decreased cortisol because of an increased ACTH. Patients also have decreased mineral corticoids, increased sex hormones, and the symptoms include signs of masculization, female pseudohermaphrodism, and hypotension. That's a key sign, hypotension. 17-alpha-hydroxylase deficiency has hypertension, and so does 11-beta-hydroxylase deficiency. So um, having hypotension with signs of a congenital bilateral adrenal hyperplasia should point you to the diagnosis of 21-hydroxylase deficiency. Also in 21-hydroxylase deficiency, patients have hyperkalemia and an increased plasma renin activity and volume depletion. Also, salt wasting can lead to hypovolemic shock in the newborn. Now, how do you um, differentiate this from 17-alpha-hydroxylase deficiency? Well, we mentioned in 17-alpha-hydroxylase deficiency, patients will have hypertension. Also keep in mind that there's decreased sex hormones, decreased cortisol, and increased mineral corticoids. However, patients have hypokalemia in 17-alpha-hydroxylase deficiency. And the decrease in DHT leads to pseudohermaphrodism, um, which is basically external phenotypic female, um, but no internal reproductive structures due to malarian inhibiting factor. Patients are typically XX and um, understand that um, this is one of the other congenital adrenal hyperplasias. With 11-beta-hydroxylase deficiency, patients have, again, decreased cortisol. They have decreased aldosterone and cortisterone. There's increased sex hormone. And again, symptoms are masculization, hypertension. Um, And this is the final type of the hydroxylase deficiencies you'd want to focus on for the board exam. Good luck in your preparation for the boards.